pair of presentations uh, from Japan, and uh, they will be given back to back, Dr. Kabori first and Dr. Kitani, and this will be the uh, East AF and the under ATP trials. And Dr. Kabori, which one you're doing under ATP? Thank you, Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor to present our study in this conference. The cancer plus atrial fibrillation trial, KPAF trial, is a two by two factorial randomized control trial to investigate the current issue of catheter ablation for atrial fibrillation. First, I present the under ATP trial, and the next, Dr. Kaitani will present the East AF trial. Most of the recurrence of uh, atrial fibrillation after cachet ablation are due to pulmonary vein uh, reconnection. So adenosine or ATP has been reported to provoke dormant conduction after an initially successful PB isolation. Thus, ATP-guided additional ablation has been proposed as an adjunctive approach to establish the uh, permanent pulmonary vein disconnection uh, after uh, PB isolation successfully, and thereby uh, decrease the uh, recurrence of atrial fibrillation post ablation. However, uh, only several retrospective studies and one randomized control studies, uh, study with a relatively small number of patients have shown the efficacy of the ATP guided PBI. So therefore, the aim of this large-scale randomized control trial evaluated the efficacy of ATP-guided PBA as compared with the conventional PBA in patient with uh, uh, in patient undergoing AF ablation. A total of over 3,700 patients were screened, and, uh, and finally, 2,113 patients were randomly assigned to ATP-guided PBA or uh, conventional PBA before ablation. One-year follow-up data was available in 99.5% of the patients. We included the patient undergoing their first catheter ablation and the exclusion criteria was, uh, as, as, as stated below. The standard method of the uh, pulmonary bay isolation in the present study was extensive in cycling uh, PB isolation. After an initial success of uh, uh, PB isolation, in the patient of, uh, assigned to ATP-guided PBA, 0.4 milligram per kilogram of ATP was rapidly administered intravenously to unmask the uh, dormant conduction. When dormant conduction was provoked, additional ablation were performed until the disappearance of any dormant conductions. The primary endpoint of this study was recurrent atrial tachyarrhythmia at one year with a blanking period of 90 days uh, post ablation. Clinical follow up was uh, scheduled as shown here. In result, there were no significant differences in most of baseline patient characteristics. However, uh, there was, uh, because of uh, uh, programming error in randomization system, there were uh, significant differences in age and age-related uh, characteristics. However, procedure characteristics are identical in almost all, all uh, uh, almost all uh, uh, identical, and uh, including the uh, highly use of uh, supportive device to create the permanent vein uh, lesion. After a successful PB isolation, spontaneous PB reconnection was observed equally among the groups and uh, additional ablation re-isolated the all, dormant, uh, do, all permanent veins. In ATP-guided PBA, a median time from initial successful PBA to ATP was 57 minutes, 
and the dormant collection was uh, provoked in 27.6% of the patients. A median of five additional ablations completely eliminated the dormant conductions. There were no significant increase uh, in any of the procedure uh, complications with the ATP-guided PBA. This slide shows the Kaplan-Meier curve of uh, event-free rate at, uh, uh, after air fibrillation. The one-year uh, uh, one event-free rate from the primary endpoint was 68.7% in ATP-guided PBA and 67.1% uh, in conventional PBA with no significant decrement. And as you can see, also there were no significant differences regardless of AF type. This slide shows a pre-specified subgroup analysis regarding treatment effect of ATP-guided approach on the primary endpoint. There was no significant interaction across all the subgroups. Randomization error is one of the end limitations. In spite of these limitations, Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to conclude uh, our studies. There was no significant reduction in the incidence of recurrent atrial tachyarrhythmia after catheter ablation of atrial fibrillation with the ATP-guided PBA as compared to the conventional PBA. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Kobani. Since this is a factorial randomization trial, may I suggest that we have the second presentation, and perhaps the two of you could handle questions uh, after the second presentation. So Dr. Katani, please, the East AF trial. <laughs> 